<laughs> hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is savannah if you are new and today we are continuing our not so berry series i'm excited i just got through reading your guys's comments and it makes me happy that you like sai so i think that's probably who we're gonna leave at the altar I saw a couple of comments with some very good storylines, so we're probably going to do something along those lines. I'll let you guys know what it is in a few minutes, but I just wanted to let you know that um, I'm doing good. I'm super happy. I um, live in my best life, enjoying my summer break. I hope that you guys are too. It's been nice to not stress about like having schedules and things that I need to get done. I kind of just like am <laughs> vibing and just enjoying the time that I have off before I start school again. And like my next semester schedule is gonna be really nasty. So um, yeah, I'm just enjoying the time off that I have, but I'm super excited to be here filming today. I'm a little tired, so I do have a Celsius. I've got sparkling watermelon today. So let's crack this open, shall we? The cracks have not been good lately, but that's okay. <laughs> cheers to you, cheers to this video. Let's get into it. Insulation, check. Audio, check. Video, check. Game, check. Hopefully uh, everything goes smoothly. In my last Legacy um, episode, my game was acting really stupid, so. Fingies crossed and Patrick prays that it goes well. Okay, you guys, here we are back in the Barry household. We are still at the dorms currently, and I wanted to check a couple of things uh, before we get into it. I wanna see how much time she has left as a young adult. Okay, she's almost halfway through her young adulthood. 16 days until she's an elder. Okay, and we just started a new term. Um, so we do need it. Oh my gosh, three, no, two more terms. Sheesh, two more terms. Okay, and Andy is, she's not an elder yet, right? I still can't believe she married Malcolm Landgrab. I cannot freaking believe it. Oh, adult. Okay, cool, cool, cool. All right, so I'm thinking, <laughs> I don't really know what happens when you get pregnant when you live in the dorms. So I guess we can like give that a shot. I asked you guys what you thought about Sai, and a lot of you guys liked him. You liked that he has the public enemy aspiration, and you thought that it would be spicy for like that being the reason why Prim leaves him. Um, because she wants to be a politician, you know, she has to have a pretty, pretty good and pristine record. So if she marries someone who... A public enemy? Like, come on. A politician and a public enemy, they can't be together. It just won't work out. Um, at least in this storyline, it won't. <laughs> so Sai is going to be the one that we get pregnant with and we are going to leave at the altar. Um, also, I think another good reason to leave him at the altar would be like, maybe she she gets pregnant and she feels like she needs to marry her baby, her baby dad because that's like the traditional cookie cutter type of thing that you need to do if you want to be like a politician or whatever. Um, but maybe like at the altar she also realizes like those two reasons like she doesn't need to marry him She doesn't want to and he's a public enemy. So I think it's perfect. So that's what we're gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and invite him over and I'm gonna ask him. Do we already ask him to be our boyfriend? Uh, Sai Ka Ka Chowen? Chowen. I hope I'm not butchering that but uh, how's our aspiration going? So we need to have three dates and we need three more or two more dates and three more boyfriends and girlfriends and as far as the skills go, uh, right, charisma and research and debate, which we are currently working on. Okay. And I think we need to get pregnant ASAP. Um, I guess we can also make a loan payment. I don't think we've done that in a while. Let's do, uh, you know what? Let's just pay it off, honestly. Like, why not? We have the money. Let's just do it. Okay, where is Sai? Hello? I'm pretty sure we just invited you over, but that's fine. I'm gonna... I'm gonna get her to practice her... Let's get her to practice her debate because she, she she needs to get to work on that. Is he here? No, that's not him. Who is this? Minato? It doesn't say he's our roommate. I don't know. I don't know, y'all. But this is our last stage of the aspiration, which is awesome. Should we... Were we saving our, our aspiration points for something? Or should we get something now? Ooh, entrepreneur... Entrepreneurial would be really nice more likely to get promoted oh man maybe we should do that maybe we should do that i don't think we were saving up for anything i mean savant's always nice to have but 
I'm trying to max this career like ASAP. I'm gonna get her that. I think that's that's a, that's a good one. That's a good one. Also, I want to. Do you have a club? You do. Okay, this is weird. It's Andy and Luke. <laughs> Can I? How do I kick them out of the club? Oh, it, Andy's the leader of this club. Okay, I'm just gonna leave then. I'm gonna leave and I'm gonna create our own. Goodbye. See ya. Join a club, create a club. This will be our... Let's just call it the Rose Club. The King Crab. Um, we'll do that. We'll do invite only and we will add our friends. So we'll do Olivia. We'll do... There isn't very many friends that aren't romantic friends, so that's weird. Um, Mariko, Emery, I think these these might be the beans that we are in our uh, debate club with, so. Lily too, I think she's in our debate club. Okay, sure, that works. Club activities, practice your charisma and practice your debate. Sounds like a super fun club, am I right? <laughs> okay, let's start a gathering and start get those points up so that I can get her a charisma boost and a research and debate boost. I like to do this in every single one of my Let's Plays now. <laughs> Hi, Olivia, it's good to see you. Hey, uh, we were practicing our speech. Whatever, dude. Looks like we're racking up those points pretty quickly, which is nice. Okay, um, why did Sai never come over? Oh, we can ask him on a date? Maybe we should do that, because we need to go on dates for our, for our aspiration. I know I just started a club gathering, but it's fine. It's fine. They can wait. We can just do another one when we get back. <laughs> Where should we go? A lounge? A bar? Rattlesnake bar? Should we go to the vegan restaurant? What's this one? Oasis Springs restaurant, Italian restaurant, seafood restaurant. Have we gone to this one yet? I guess we can go check it out. I hope that you guys are doing good. I miss you. I hope that your summer break is very fun. If you're on vacation or if you're planning on going vacation, uh, let me know in the comments so I can live through you. <laughs> I'm not going on vacation this year. I wish I was, but it's okay. Have we been here before? Oh yeah, Andy and Luke came here. They sat over here. Oh my gosh, we should totally do the same thing. How cute would that be? Why do I, I feel like I'm losing my voice. What's going on here? Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, where did our date go? Hello? Sir, please come sit with us. What is this outfit they have on? I mean, it's not terrible, but I'm gonna I'm gonna change you to what I gave you. <laughs> there you go, sir. Much better. Much, much better. Hi! Hi, Sai! So good to see you. Let's ask about career. Let's just talk to him, you know? Hopefully things go well. Oh, he likes video gaming. That's cute. Oh my gosh. What else? Uh, psychology? A psychology degree who wants to be a public enemy? That's loaded. I kind of love it. Hmm. What should I get for them? Should we just like get some fries and talk? Oh, apple pie maybe? Oh, that would be cute. Let's both get apple pie. Do a little dessert date. <laughs> Joke about politicians, even though she's trying to be one. Lol. Yep, just two pieces of apple pie, ma'am. Thank you. You can go away now. Get out of here. Sheesh. Yay. Thank you so much for the pie, ma'am. Oh my god, no. No more bad attacks. Why does this keep happening in all my freaking games? <laughs> what are you doing? Empathize. Okay, you need to relax. Sheesh, what is happening over there? Oh my god. Where are you going? You didn't even eat your pie. See what's happening. What? No. Eat your pie. Eat your pie. Come back over here. Come here. Oh god. Now he's just gonna Okay, he's coming back. Whew. She scarfed that pie though. Oh look at look at we could be creeps. I think I want to change his brows. Are you going to eat your pie? Can I have it? It looks like we got a gold on our date, so we could totally end it whenever we want to. But I would really like to ask him to be our boyfriend. So, wait, is he already our boyfriend? Oh, he already is our boyfriend. Okay. I must have forgotten that. Mm. 
That's right. She asked him at the at the debate. How cute is that? I could have woohoo with you forever, Prim. My goodness. They're having like a super romantic date. I will not lie. Do you? I am good to you. Oh God, no! What are you screaming about? Ask for reassurance. Oh my God, please stop. Okay, okay, okay. We're we're traveling. Oh no, we're gonna. Okay, we're ending the date. Got a gold. Beautiful. Let's go home. Bring him with us because it went really well. And oh shoot, they can't woohoo. Or they can woohoo in the shower actually. Oh my gosh. A baby conceived in the shower. Okay. He didn't come with us for some reason. Legendary date. Oh, yes. Love that for us. Okay. Uh Sai, I'm gonna need you to come. You're supposed to come with us. Okay, he's here. So we can woohoo in the shower, yes? We can't? Why not? Am I gonna have to buy something that we can woohoo in? <gasps> Here we go. Wait, is she still on birth control? <gasps> oh no, she is. Shoot, okay, I'm gonna have to disallow. No! He decided to use protection. Holy crap! Okay, this is gonna be harder than I thought. Oh, they got fireworks, you guys. Aww, that's really sweet. So, um, I'm going to toss her birth control. Um, I don't know. I'm gonna just like put it over here under this tree. And we're just gonna pretend that she lost it. That's why <laughs> she stopped taking it. I don't know. I don't know. There has to be some kind of reason why she stopped taking it. And that's that's my reasoning is that she lost it. <laughs> Dang, I had the woohoo again and he used protection again. Sheesh. Okay, well, this is gonna be a lot harder than I thought. If I didn't have wonderful whims, it would be so easy for us to get pregnant with him, but he just keeps keeps using um, protection even though I don't want him to. I've never had a sim do that before, which I think is f f weird. All right, you guys, so what I ended up doing was restarted my game. I changed my wonderful whims settings so that we can actually try for a baby. So I don't think that he will use protection if we do that option. I guess we'll see what happens. I don't know. I just... We just need to get this going. We don't have a lot of time, which is kind of unfortunate because I didn't want to take my time with this gen and just... Oh no, not the ankles. Oh my, oh, they're, oh, his shins are, whoa. That was disgusting. What? Sigh, you're joking, you're kidding. I can't with you. I can't with you. Ugh, ugh, girls. What am I supposed to do, guys? What do I do in this situation? Honey, take a pee. Take a PT. Excuse me, Sai. Thank you. Oh, oh! It worked! It worked! How do you feel? Hmm? He's like, what? I I used a you know what? It's fine. Shimmy baye. So I'm not really sure what's gonna happen now. I don't know if she's gonna get kicked out the dorm when she has the child. I guess we'll find out. But yeah, we're expecting y'all. I am like so tempted to see what we're having, but I will refrain, okay? I want it to be a surprise. Let's clean up this roast chicken and uh, I guess we should start working on our homework and stuff then, yeah? So we need to do homework for scientific process through time. Do we have a presentation this semester? We do, yuck. Disgusting. I'm gonna just pop it right here. Yeah, bye, Sai. Thank you for your seed, sir. Very kind, sir. We will see you. We'll see you around. Oh, speaking of Hank and Andy, I was like doing some stuff in this save file. I don't really remember what. Oh, I was uploading the lab to the gallery because um, a couple of you guys have asked for it. And I noticed that Andy moved out of her modern house. She took. Hank and Bud, no, not Bud, Hank and Thorn, the two children, and she moved in with the land, she lives in the land grab house now, so she moved in with Malcolm, she took Hank, she took Thorn, and uh, 
there's also a couple more Sims that live here, live there. Malcolm has had a had a kid with someone else, and that kid lives in that house. And then his two brother, his two twin brothers, also live in the house with them. So you know who's left in the modern house? Bud and Luke. Isn't that just extremely strange? Oh. <gasps> Oh my gosh, I just, oh my gosh, I just realized that one of uh, Malcolm's brother is one of our romantic partners. Oh my goodness, that's so, this is, this is one of the twins I was just telling you about. Wow, the spice, the freaking spice. <gasps> no, Alice passed away. No way. That's so sad. Oh my gosh, our poor mom. I hope Olivia's doing okay as well. Sheesh, that's really freaking sad, you guys. Can I help you with something? Hi. Do you want to be my girlfriend? <gasps> Look at those first impressions that they have of each other. Oh, that's not good. Here, let me show you pretentious they both think that they're pretentious of each other wow okay that's fair that's fair do you want a rose though Ty's not here is he no he's not what do you think i'm showing you that i'm not pretentious oh now she's growling at us okay can you buzz off sir oh she said buzz off this guy does not seem impressed with us Oh my god, relax. What? What do you have an issue with? Is it because we're pregnant? Oh, crap, Heidi's here. Oh my gosh, he isn't. Maybe he's like, you, Prim, you have a million boyfriends and girlfriends here all the time, woohooing in the shower. Can you please just relax? Take it up to your room or something. Okay, sorry, butterfly nose. Oh my gosh, our, this roommate just tried flirting with our girlfriend and she was like, get out of here, dude. Who even are you? Trying to spit game to our girlfriend while we're spitting game to someone else up here. <laughs> this is messy, I will not lie. She does need some sleep though, so I'm gonna get her to go to bed. Come on, Prim, exit the situation. I don't even know who that lady is. Oh, she's our roommate in this room, okay. I can't believe we're pregnant, you guys. Holy cow. I cannot wait to see what we're gonna have. All right, have a good day at work, you little pregnant bean. Okay, so apparently you can stay in the dorms while pregnant, but I think as soon as you have a baby, they're like, get out of here. So we're gonna have to go back to our apartment. I'm pretty sure all of our stuff is still there. Welcome back, welcome home. You've got class in four hours, you've done your homework. And you need to do homework for expansion of rights as well. So let's get that done. I can't even imagine what it's like being pregnant in uni. Talk about stress and just, oh goodness. I commend any of you that have done that because that's pretty amazing. All right, she's off to class. For some reason, she keeps going to class in her work uniform. You can change, you know. <laughs> Oh no, and she's hot-headed, so she's stomping on her way to class. Ay ay ay. Oh crap, I totally forgot about our research and debate club. Uh, when's the next thing for that? I want to get to the top. I want, like, I want this bar to be filled. Oh, we have debate practice in five hours. Okay. Okay. Definitely gonna go to that. So she's in class right now. As soon as she gets out of class, we're gonna go to debate practice. I'm kind of just working on uni and trying to get time to go by faster so that she can give birth and we can see what she's having. <laughs> so I'm thinking maybe we should get Sai to move in with us when we go back to our apartment so that he can help us out with the baby. I think that's probably like the smart thing to do. So, okay, yes, go to, go to uh, debate practice. Let's go. I wonder what happens when you fill up your debate bar. You get an award, do you get a prize? You get bragging rights, snaps for your efforts. <laughs> so let's go ahead and research AI and robotics so that we can get that done. And then we need to prep for debate and then practice debating. Oh, Sai's here, he's debating. Oh, you better win, my boy, you better win. Let's watch him. Can we cheer him on, like a little cheerleader? Go Sai, go Sai. <laughs> oh my gosh, she's already so large. Oh gosh, I'm a little nervous. Doesn't that mean that she's pregnant with more than one baby? 
Help! She's feeling quite hungry, so I'm gonna get her to come over here and have some spaghetti. Uh, okay, I just had her debate against this girl so that we can get this task done. All right, we did all of our tasks. Let's go home now. Oh God, she's got work. Holy crap, we were there all night. Oh my gosh. Guess we really like this debate club, eh? Oh, look! Our bar is almost full. I wonder if we have to fill it again. So I see that some of the simmers have been playing Cottage Living on YouTube. I am trying my hardest not to watch any of it because when I do my, when I do my Let's Play, I really want, oh shoot, okay, have a good day at work. I really want my my reaction to be genuine, like my first impressions to be genuine. So yeah, I'm not gonna be watching any of those videos, but if you have been watching them, are you enjoying the, the content? Like, does the pack look like something that you're gonna get? Let me know in the comments if you're planning on getting Cottage Living. It looks absolutely fantastic. I cannot wait. I cannot wait to get my little hands on it. Only... 10 more days <laughs> ah, 10 more days 10 more days until I can have cows and chickens and llamas of my own you got school you got class in three hours two hours I think that when we move back to our apartment with the baby that we should definitely have a club with our mom in it where we can just keep the keep the club gathering going all the time so that she's over all the time helping us cook, helping us clean, and like building a relationship with with the baby, which I already decided I'm going to be naming Sunny. I feel like that's a good androgynous name. And I just really like it, it's cute. Dislikes handiness? <laughs> I guess so. It's pretty funny. She dislikes handiness and she failed at freaking repairing the sink. Ay, ay, ay. What trimester are you in now, my love? Third trimester in two hours. Sheesh. Oh my gosh. Packing up and moving out. Primrose will soon be welcoming a new baby into her life. As her current university housing doesn't have the necessary resources to give the child the best care, Primrose should spend some time packing up her stuff and find a better place for her and her baby to live. Holy cannoli. Okay, well, let's take the laptop, take our presentation, take our mini fridge. I don't think there's anything else that we need to bring with us. I guess we just wait for the time to run out and then go. Oh my God. This guy is something else. This was the guy that was flirting with Heidi and now he's serenading our other roommate in heels and tights in a leotard. I mean, I kind of love him. He's like super iconic, but he's a little player. Dang, spitting all that game. Are you into it? Oh, she's into it. Wow, okay, wow. <laughs> Prim's like, love that for y'all. <laughs> this outfit, like what? <laughs> Kaluba. Oh, who are you flirting with? The wall or that dog? Okay, that's fair. What are you gonna do now? I'm like fully invested. All right, time to go. This is crazy. <laughs> One semester in the dorms. At least we had a good experience. I think we did, it was fun. So let's go back to Samai Shuno, back to our apartment. Uh-oh. Yeah, let's evict him. Bye, sir. So if I try to evict the guy that's living here, I can't get the option uh, to have a furnished apartment, which is really annoying. So we're just gonna move in with him and then I will evict him from, or move him out when we move in. He has $20,000 right now. So I'm just gonna uh, subtract that from our money when we move in. All right. Hello, sir. I'm pregnant and I would like my apartment back, please. Thank you. What? Why is there nothing in here? You guys, there's nothing in... I'm so sad. No! Oh god, that sucks. That really freaking sucks. I don't know what happened. It looked furnished. 
Is everything in our family inventory? Like, what the actual heck? Where did our stuff... Here it is. Dang. Okay. Well, I'm gonna look at this as a blessing in disguise because we do need to shift some things around if we're going to have a baby like things need to be rearranged i'm gonna get this man out of our household things are not going my well to not my well what am i saying things are not going my way today all right he's gone goodbye sir get out of here okay goodbye okay so i'm gonna put up the lights and like all of that other random stuff that we need but um i probably won't be doing the building in this episode that sucks. Ugh, it's definitely not as pretty as it was before, but I'll definitely fix it. We do need to make like some kind of baby room as well. So yeah, I will, I will do that before I film the next part. I'm sorry that your apartment got wrecked, but uh, I guess it's kind of realistic because yeah, you moved all your stuff back in and this is really all that you brought so far. So we'll fix it up. We'll... We'll make this place livable in no time for you and your bean. So she's got class in 18 hours and then that's all that, oh, just kidding. She also has a class tomorrow and then she'll have the weekend off and she'll probably have the baby as well. So yeah, oh wait, she's already in the third trimester. Oh yeah, she, okay. This baby is gonna come a lot faster than I thought. I am so excited. Taking bets. What do y'all think it's gonna be? <laughs> Dang it, you guys. I was doing so good with my camera. It has been a while since it's turned off on me, but I forgot to do my timers. <laughs> I'm going to invite Sai over so that he can just hang out with us for a little bit. Show him our apartment. Ask him how he's feeling about the whole baby situation. Is he here? Sai, confess to having woohoo. Well, I would hope. Let's invite him to stay the night. We should probably give him an apartment key too, unless, oh my goodness. That's one way to invite him to stay the night. That's all you do, you kiss him like that and then you just go back into your apartment. Oh no. <laughs> I was trying to get a cute screenshot, but he just inserted his hands into the belly. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'll wait and to see what you guys think about moving him in. I mean, we probably should, right? Like going through the motions of having this baby, like please move in with us. I'm almost giving birth. I think it's time. Uh so yeah, let's let's ask him. Ask to join household, Sai. Please, please join me. Help me take care of our child, please. I'm begging you. Hopefully it was a mutual decision between them both. Oh, I do need to uh, subtract 20,000 from our monies again. Oh, he has $20,000 himself. That's fantastic. Looks like we're getting some money today. Oh shoot, no, we don't want to go to Evergreen Harbor. We need to be in semi shoe no. Yes. Holy cannoli. Okay, let me subtract. Okay, so we're gonna have 33. If I minus 20,000, 33, seven, two, six, set it. Oh my gosh. Okay, it's gonna be a little bit harder to, um, to uh, finish our aspiration, but that's okay, we have some time. Good night, lovebirds. Good night. I can't help but think this is like super cute and I'm like really happy for her. Oh my gosh, they're doing their homework together on the couch. No! I think it's dope that he's still in uni. Um, Yeah, what term are you in? Oh wow, he has nine out of 12 credits. Love that for him. He's a cool sim psychology degree public enemy aspiration what are his traits again good hot-headed and mentor very interesting they are so flirty like all the time joke about silly baby names that is such a cute little conversation option. Oh no, not the neighbors woohooing. Well, since you're just sitting there and not doing anything, why don't you cook up some food for uh, Prim to have when you get back? Let's have some BLTs, I guess. Oh, he's feeling angry about the noisy, noisy neighbors. Thank you, Sai, for cooking. Appreciate you. I wonder if noisy neighbors will wake up the baby. <gasps> interesting i'm excited to find out if she has it oh 
You guys, I was just gonna say, if she's having this baby on love day, she's gonna have a love day baby. How appropriate is that for this gen? It's everything is so rosy and red and romantic and I love it. <laughs> okay, let's go to the hospital and have the baby. I'm gonna go with her and we're gonna bring, hmm, which one of our boyfriends and girlfriends should we bring? <laughs> I'm kidding, we're gonna bring Sai. She's still feeling like Brent Brandon is her soulmate though, not Sai, which I think is a little funny. I guess Brandon was technically her first love. So yesterday, you guys, I <gasps> the bit the woman who's gonna deliver our baby is wearing a rose crown. Wow, how did you know? How did you know? Oh, we gotta take a picture with her. We just have to. Hi, thank you so much for um, delivering my child. Would you like to take a photo with me because you're wearing the rose crown and you make me wanna cry. You're making this experience so special and personal and... <laughs> anyway, as I was saying, I bought a skateboard yesterday and I'm gonna try and learn how to skate. Wish me luck. I hope I don't break any of my bones. Sure. Gotta document this moment. Cheese, Hanji. Love that for us. Big rose energy. Oh no, she's passing out. No, honey, no. I need you to have this baby. Taking a quick nap before birth. No biggie. Oh my gosh. I am so nervous to see what she has. I kind of want yellow Jen to be a boy. So, fingies crossed that it's a boy. Fingies crossed and Patrick prays and all the luck in the chat. Andy showed up! Oh my god, that's so sweet! Even though she's over here video gaming, it's still really cute. Oh, she's not very good at what she does, is she? I've never seen this happen before. The machine is fighting with itself. Did we have the baby? It's a girl. Okay, this is a monumental occasion because I'm always happy when it's a girl, but I wanted that next gen to be a boy. Ay, caramba. All right. Well, I'm gonna name her inspired by something yellow just in case we got lemon we got pineapple not me googling yellow things amber a beautiful golden yellow gemstone appreciated for its beauty amber and sunny that's actually really cute what about honey honey and sunny i might get confused you know what let's do amber i kind of like that amber berry and sunny berry if your name is amber shout out to you let me know in the the comments <laughs> Oh gosh, we need to have another child. Oh, it's a freaking alien. I thought that it had to be alien on alien to produce another alien. Oh no. Not the alien genes being passed down. You know what? It doesn't really make sense for Primrose to have another child, especially with Sai. So maybe this girly does need to be the next heir. Oh God, what are we, what are we gonna do? What are we going to do? You guys are gonna have to let me know in the comments because I know that it's a freaking alien. I know that she's like extremely career focused. Okay. And I don't even think she wanted kids to begin with. This was an accident. We all know that she's going to marry or get engaged to Sai because she feels pressured to do so because they have a child. So it's like, I don't think they would have another one and I don't think she would get pregnant with someone else either. This is tough. This is a tough story. A tough gen, very complicated. And I cannot believe that this child is an alien or is it? Cause it didn't come in an alien bassinet. So sheesh, I have no idea. I have no idea. I'm gonna get her to finish capturing information and then uh, I I think I want them to go on another date so that we can finish that portion of the aspiration tonight. Cause it is Friday. Give the cold shoulder. No, why would you do that? Do you do something wrong? Let's go on a date cause it is love day. She just had the baby. She's probably like, yo, let's go out. 
I need something. Not alcohol, because she doesn't drink. But, like, can we go out and have something nice? Do something nice, please. Yeah, sure, babe. Let's go out for love day. We'll call a babysitter. We'll go out and vibe. What do you want to do? Hancho! Oh, this is a restaurant. Brindleton Yacht Club. Where there's this Bayside Bar and Grill. I wonder. Let's go to the Yacht Club. That seems a little bit more upscale for Love Day. I think I'm going to go and cast two and give them um, some nice little Love Day outfits. Love Day! I am so internally conflicted about what to do with this gen. I need help. I need suggestions because... Oh, look at her. She looks great. I think I might just keep her in that, but... Sai needs some help. I'm also going to change his brows. I was editing the last part and I realized that I didn't like the brows that I chose for him. <laughs> Oh, those are so much better. Oh my gosh, so much better. Ooh, you look great in this red suit. Let's put some black shoesies on and bam, you're ready for a night out on the town. Let's go. <gasps> Maybe he should propose tonight. A love day proposal on the same day that they have their baby. This is a packed love day. Maybe, maybe it's uh, Primrose's favorite holiday because it is centered around the color red. I think that might be pretty cool. Okay, let's get a table. Um, I can't, I can't go to these, I go to restaurants so often in The Sims. Oh, you know what? I'm actually going to click this one. No, already claimed. Okay, um, okay, how about this one? That one's free, let's do that. How's he feeling about the baby? My little baby, I still can't believe that I gave birth. I'm sorry? You didn't give birth. You didn't do anything except for spread the seed and that's it. The nerve of this dude. I have to admit, they are a pretty cute couple. Like, I like them a lot. Okay, so we know that Prim doesn't drink, but I'm going to get Saya Dim and Gusty. And then for food, hmm. Let's do salmon for Prim and the uh, chipino for Sai. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Yes, hello. One Dim and Gusty, one chipino, and one salmon, please. Thank you, madame. I'm gonna get him to purchase a rose as well. Gaba Mooney Hish. Gaba Mooney Hish. Oh, here we go. Purchase gifts. All right. Well, while she's gone, he's gonna order her a rose. Is he gonna wait for her to come back before he starts eating? Dang, he chugged that dim and gusty. What the heck is she doing? Did she go? Where are you? Oh, she's on her way back. All right, so we got gold. I'm gonna go ahead and end the meal, pay the bill, and we are going to head home. Oh, actually, first and foremost, hold on. I do want him to propose to her tonight, so let's see. I mean, it's pretty romantic out here. Maybe they were like, let's go check out the pool, shall we? They're both so tired and a little drunk, but that's okay. What in the world? You good, my dude? What are you even looking at? I mean, the walls that... Oh, he's looking out the window. Okay. Just enjoying the view, sir? Okay. Yeah, you do that. You do it. He's gonna be like, you gave birth to a beautiful baby girl. We're gonna raise her together. I think that we should get married. Primrose. Wow. Terrible timing for the alarm to go off. Primrose Berry, will you marry me, please? Aww. She seems really happy. I oh, will not lie, she does. What achievement was that? Have a sim reach max level in logic. What? Oh, wow. He's smart. Okay, cool. All right, now they're both very giddy. I love that for them. So let's head home to our baby, our fresh child. Gosh, she's probably feeling so many emotions right now. Like, there's a lot going on in her life. When do you think we should have the wedding? And when do you think we should leave him at the altar? Should we... 
wait until Amber is a is a little bit older? How, like, what do you guys think? I need your opinion, so let me know in the comments. All right, now for the club. Um, I'm going to do another one. I'm going to do... Honestly, I'm just going to call it babysitter. <laughs> it's just going to be me and Andy. Okay, why can't Andy be in it? I'm going to have to invite her over and do it that way. Oh, shoot, the debate showdown is today? Uh-oh. We should probably go to this. We'll get some money from that. All right, come on. Let's go. Let's bring Sai because he's also in the debate guild. And then once that's done, we will come back home and invite Andy over so that she can meet Amber. Freaking Amber, dude. I kind of just wanted Prim to have one baby. So we might need to change her name to Sunny because I'm pretty, I'm pretty stuck on that name. <laughs> Okay, hi, I'm here. Hi, Livia, how are you? It's good to see you. Sorry to hear about your mom. She's also a debate member and her last name changed. Hold the phone. Do you have a partner? Her career is an actress, wow. Spouse, John Ota, oh wow, okay, you're married. Fair. Maybe she's gonna, cause you guys, it was an option for uh, Prim to marry Olivia when they were elders. So maybe they'll both get out of their marriages. I don't know. I don't know y'all. Okay, who are we debating against? <gasps> Shoot, we didn't prep. We didn't prep for this debate. Oh no. Hopefully our skill is high enough to where we don't need to prep anymore. I'm not sure, we'll see what happens. Oh, did we win? We got $475 from that. I think we might have won. Nice. Ooh, we have to convince the sim to do something. Convince to do my homework. Oh my god, she's doing it. Holy cannoli. This, wait. You can literally convince Sims to do homework for you? Hi, um, I was wondering, would you wanna do my homework? Oh my God, he's doing it. You guys, that's so freaking funny. And okay, it looks like we leveled up in debate. We're a seasoned member now. So I guess there's different levels. I wonder how many levels there are. Use your power of convincing to raise in the ranks. Drop some serious schooling to fellow debate member, guild members at debate practice or leverage the debate showdown to tell the world what's up. Wow, crazy. I can't believe they're doing our homework for us. <laughs> oh my goodness. I kind of want Sai to participate as well, so I'm just gonna get him to do that. Oh, she's feeling excited from getting engaged. I mean, if only you knew what was gonna happen to you, my love. If only you knew. Let's go home. Let's get Andy to come over so that she can meet the babes. Yeah, invite her to join the club so that she can be here all the time and like babysit and get that relationship up because Yellow Jen and Mint Jen need to be besties. All right, mom. Where are you at? Hey mom, now's a good time for you to come over and meet Amber. So please get your booty over here. Hi mom. Oh my gosh, is she an elder now? Yup, she aged up. Okay. Whew. Okay, I'm gonna move the baby to a spot where we're able to show her off. So that we can show her off to How come she's not green anymore? Yo, what's happening right now? Mom's here. Size like, okay, I'll be in the kitchen. <laughs> Avoiding her like the plague, eh? Why is that? She's a nice human. Hi, mom. This is Amber. This is her. She used to be green. Andy's like, ah, three generations of ladies. Oh, she's green. Okay, why is she green again? She's probably so stoked that it's an alien. She's like, wow. Congratulations, sweetie, on your engagement and the baby and everything else. Mom, I need you to join this club. Invite to babysitter. Mom, can you babysit? Of course I'll babysit! Are you kidding? I'd love to be a babysitter. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. 
Okay, well, I'm gonna go ahead and start started gathering and we're gonna work on our presentation. Mom, you take care of the baby, okay? What in the world? What is that that you're eating? Oh, a little scoochy scooch. Okay, but like, what are you eating though? I am so very confused why there's a mug in your bowl. Is that a glitch? That's definitely a glitch because that's a salad. Um, sir? Are you okay? Maybe we should give Andy an elder makeover too. I'll probably do that before next episode. This baby never cries. It's kind of weird and I'm a little concerned, but... Oh, I spoke too soon. Aw, Sai changed the diaper without me asking him to. What a good bean. All right, y'all, she's done with her presentation, which is great. The baby's chilling, Andy's here babysitting. Sai is taking a shower. Everything seems to be going great. So before the next one, I need you guys to comment down below and let me know what you think we should do about the next heir. Should we have a female next heir? Cause it makes the most sense to me. I don't really see Prim having another kid. Um, so I don't know, unless you guys can think of like a logical explanation as to why she would, then um, this will probably be there. We're going to finish her aspiration in the next one. absolutely freaking lutely we just need three more boyfriends and girlfriends. Yikes. Um, maybe, mm, maybe we should do these three after we leave him at the altar. Because I think that would be kind of strange to have her be engaged, but also pursuing other boyfriends and girlfriends. Also, you guys are going to have to let me know, like, when we should have the wedding, at what point in Amber's life should they get married, at what point should she leave him at the altar. I would say probably not until Amber's a child, so that the, that she could still, like, she can take care of herself, and we don't need size help anymore. I know that's kind of cruel and unusual, but it is what it is, y'all. Um, maybe they'll both wait until they're graduated to want to get married. So we're just going to be working on getting through uni. We have two more days left in this term. And uh, then we'll be well on our way in the last term. I'm excited. Please let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know what you think about the baby and everything else that I mentioned. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.